Welcome to the Ramble Biltmore Forest. The Ramble is a master plan community developed by Biltmore Farms, which was founded in 1897 by George W. Vanderbilt. Closely patterned after the principles used by Frederick Law Olmsted in his plans for the Biltmore Estate, the Ramble's 1,000 acres were originally purchased by George Vanderbilt, and the land was a favorite walking spot of his. Biltmore Farms has an extensive history of community building in the Asheville region, centered around five core tenets of community development. The Ramble, with its handcrafted homes and inviting network of parks, greenways, and common areas, embodies these tenets. Let's hear more from Vanderbilt's grandson and great-grandson, Mr. George and Jack Cecil, who lead Biltmore Farms today. I suppose the origins of our interest in community development and communities comes from the time when my grandfather settled here. I think one of the nicest things is to when you drive through or walk through here, is to see the trails, to see the trees and forests uh, really maturing and developing just like my grandfather would have liked to have seen them. When we wanted to uh, create the ramble, we wanted to follow the, the precepts of my great-grandfather and my father in his uh, work with the Western North Carolina Development Association. But my generation, we sort of translated all of that into the five tenets of community development. They are, we have a great interest in education, in healthcare, in economic development, arts and craft and culture, and quality of life in the environment. The Ramble, quite frankly, is, is a really good example of all of the five tenets. The first tenet of community development is education, and that draws upon the family's history with this commitment to education in West North Carolina, be it with Biltmore Industries, which was one of the first craft schools. In the Ramble, we've carried that forward by basically connecting the Ramble to Carolina Day School to the north and the T.C. Robertson School District to the south through Biltmore Park and then also located in Town Square is Western Carolina University. And more specifically inside the Ramble, from time to time we have classes or lectures on uh, whatever the subject matter be. It could be the gardening club, it could be a featured resident who wants to give a talk about their particular passion. And so we try to weave in the thought process of community development inside the Ramble an educational component as well. The second of the five tenets of community development is healthcare. And once again, this, this draws upon my great-grandfather's commitment to, to healthcare uh, in the community. He uh, built and funded through All Souls Church, Clarence Barker Hospital. That later morphed into uh, Biltmore Hospital, and that la later merged into uh, with three other hospitals to create what is now Memorial Mission Hospital. In the Ramble, we are, are connected to Biltmore Park Town Square. There's multiple medical office practices in there, and Mission Hospital is, is currently building a 35,000 square foot medical office building uh, out along Long Shoals Road, which will have health and wellness programs as well as primary care. Within the Ramble specifically, we're now in the Livingwell Center and there's an exercise facility downstairs. We have a demonstration kitchen that can do cooking classes and we have numerous miles of, of walking trails that encourage people to not only bike, walk, push the baby carriages, but you'll also see children on skateboards uh, meandering through the woods. The third of the five tenets of community development is, is economic development, which is really about job creation. And again, going back to uh, my great-grandfather's uh, interest in Asheville and growing the economy of Asheville. We've taken a great interest here in the Ramble. It's connected to Biltmore Park Town Square. There's probably over 2,000 people now working in little small startup software companies all the way to multinational operations that are located in Town Square. For those who really want to take full advantage of, of living in the Ramble, uh, you can work in Town Square. So you're talking about a real Shangri-La. It basically takes you out of the automobile. And you can uh, live and work in close proximity to your home and to your office. So the fourth tenet of community development is arts and craft and culture. And that's really based upon the premise that one doesn't work all the time. Uh, my generation, we started uh, Handmade in America to show and pay uh, tribute to the artisans. We designed a, a house here in the Ramble called the Handmade House. 
and we incorporated works from 100 to 125 local artisans. And you will see when you walk through the Ramble, little bits and pieces of, of artwork. Uh, we have one here in the uh, Livingwell Center and we have Bow Bridge, which is a, a crafted uh, wrought iron bridge. And to some extent, even the Livingwell Center and the previous center are, are works of art. One of the reasons that uh, one would like to live in the Ramble is, well, we have music festivals and, and other art venues, uh, but also uh, downtown Asheville is only about five minutes away. And with uh, all of the artisans down along the river in downtown, it's a great convenient location, that, again, that you can live in the Shangri-La, you can go out and enjoy downtown for dinner or take in a show. Um, all the cultural venues are, are right at your fingertips living here in the Ramble. And the fifth and last of the five tenets of community development is an environmental stewardship and, and quality of life. And what my father and I had hoped to do with the Ramble was uh, be very focused on how we laid out the development and follow the natural contours and be respectful of the forests and the mountains, the streams and the trees that are here. That's really what makes the Ramble. It's a thousand acres a forest land, there will probably be only 550, 600 homes, so the density is very, very low. It's a respite from the hectic life of an urban living environment. So you can literally go from the entrance at uh, Valley Springs Road back to uh, the south gate that, that connects them to Biltmore Park Town Square, ultimately through a whole series of, of greenway trails, which will then link the parks together. Where you have a wild, natural environment but it's set within an urban context. When we laid out the series of parks, we wanted to interconnect the parks with the residential neighborhoods, with the natural topography, so people could walk between the elements in the ramble, which makes it such a unique place to live. Because it's not only environmental stewardship here, but it's also connected to the larger community, and that's what we wanted to, um, to protect here in the ramble. Thank you for joining us. For more information about how you can be a part of this incredible community, stop by the Ramble Preview Center or visit beverlyhanks.com.